I welcome you all with love. And that's no small thing. In today's world, there's so much fear going on. The power of love, particularly in relationship, but in all of life, is it helps us overcome fear. Love is like a microscope in relationship. Love is not blind. It's a microscope that helps us see the authentic light of God in every person. We help, it helps us see the originality in every person. That's very powerful because when we see that, then we can open up to seeing that person and not be seeing just ideas about the person. It's pretty important. It's really key in sacred relationships. Later, I'll be talking more about that. But today, I'm really wanting to focus on how do we look at the world with love with so much fear happening. And so again, we go back to love, we go back to the microscope, and we begin to look at all of life that way. Now, right now, obviously, COVID-19 is a big source of fear worldwide. I discuss it in my newsletter in detail and really give people a lot of good ways to protect yourself. Okay, and all you have to do to get that piece of information is go to drcousins.com and sign up for the newsletter. I've made a real effort because it's really important uh, that people have the ability to protect themselves. And it's a lot easier to be in love. Okay, so what we're talking about is there's love and sacred relationship, seeing the light of God in the sacred other, but also love is a way of looking at the world. Now, I'm not being naive because we're, you know, I'm not, not saying you should uh, love this pandemic. That's not really what I'm saying here. I'm really saying something different is we don't want to go into so much fear that we contract and can't be in a state of love in our dealings with the world, in our play with the world. Because love is still what helps us relate in the highest way with the, with the world. And uh, as far as I can tell, love builds the immune system as well. So uh, that's what all the research says. So basically being in a state of love versus fear, we're going to be healthier, we're going to be stronger, and we're going to have a strong enough field to uh, greatly minimize the effect of something like COVID-19 on us. Taking it a step further, okay, besides the COVID-19, it's a way of living in the world. We are non-causal love. That's our essence. We are the spark of God. That's our essence. We're, we are non-causal compassion. And so when we can look at the world through the eyes of love, it changes our experience of it. There is a, a, a great spiritual teacher, the Baal Shem Tov, lived uh, 1698 to, to 1760, and he talked about this idea of unifying with all creation. I'll be more specific. He, he talked about seeing the light of the divine in all things. Not just seeing it, but through our seeing it, amplifying the light of the divine in all things. So instead of contracting with fear that the virus is setting off, can we expand with love so we don't stop appreciating life? We don't, that, that we can really still be in love with life and still maintain a certain amount of uh, healthy interaction with the world where that love is still there. Because fear can contract love. That was my concern about talking about COVID-19. Is we don't? It, it's not productive to go there for your health, for the health of the whole society. So if we can maintain that love, <clears throat> we're doing a great service to ourselves and everyone around us. 
So may everyone be blessed with the power of love and to see the light of God in all things. <coughs> Amen. Aho. Om Takiyasu.